Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I thought that what I would do today, seeing as I've been away traveling, is just share with you some of the really simple little hacks that I use at home or away to get a kind of a salon facial style treatment at no time and obviously a fraction of the cost. So you may have seen on my Instagram lives that I've been doing a lot of work with people like Katie Brindle and Gua Sha, Olivia Wilson, who does these amazing little derma rollers. And just as a little update actually on how I've been getting on with these, I'm really impressed with derma rolling or micro needling as you might know it. So this is the little facial roller. And if I hold it up, I don't know whether you can see on the end there it's got these little tiny mini mini spikes and what you do is you clean your face and you do it last thing at night that's really important because it can leave your skin a little bit red and prickly and you just literally roll it over your face now when I first started to do this not that long ago I have to admit I was a bit too overzealous and I did end up with kind of red patches on my skin so go gently okay you can always do it the next time a little bit deeper if you want to but the idea is that you're just very very gently rolling over the skin and it's causing sort of microaggressions which sounds bad but actually isn't it's a little bit like exfoliation you're just encouraging the skin to produce new fresh supplies of collagen, elastin, helping to speed up cell turnover. So the key thing really is to do it last thing at night when you've cleaned your skin. And then once you've rolled literally all over the face and you can go up and down and round and round and wherever you like, take it right down over the neck as well. Then you just pop on your favourite serum. And what you've done is you've actually opened up little tiny abrasions within the skin to allow whatever you're using to sink further in and to work its magic overnight while we sleep. Because obviously we know that while we sleep, our skin, that's the time when our skin is helping to regenerate and renew itself. So I would also say as a word of caution that when you're using a derma roller, it is not the time to start trying something new because obviously you have made your skin a little bit more vulnerable. So if you've got an old favourite serum or night cream or moisturiser that you love, stick with that rather than trying something new. And then they also have this little version. This is a slightly bigger version. If I hold it up, you might be able to see. It's got slightly longer spikes and is a little bit wider. And this is the body version. And what I've been doing with this is I've been using it last thing at night, just rolling it over my hands and even my forearms here, because I do definitely have age spots and, you know, pigmentation on my arms from where I've had, you know, so many decades out in the sun. So again, it's the same routine. Clean your skin, use your derma roller and then apply a nice moisturiser or a nice serum or something like that to work overnight. And, you know, I have to say I've been doing it not every night because you don't need to, maybe two or three times a week. And I'm definitely impressed with the way that it can help to plump up speed cell turnover and potentially rejuvenate. So, you know, for me, it's early days, but I just thought I'd throw it out there. You may have seen the live that I did um, with the brand. It's called Olivia Wilson. I'll make sure we've got all the links in the URL because there is, of course, a Liz Loves discount if you want to try these little rollers. But do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experience. Something else that I've been taking away with me and is so easy and I'm actually healthily addicted is the Gua Sha. You may have seen that we've put features about Gua Sha and how to do it up on Liz Our Wellbeing. These are the two that I've got from Katie Brindle, which is the Hey You Method. This is the lovely uh, clear quartz, the white quartz, and then the rose quartz. And if you look on her website, you can see all about the different healing properties of crystals and whether you believe all that in that or not is up to you, but they definitely feel really, really nice on the skin and they're very well shaped. So Gua Sha is where you're simply massaging the skin in firm, simple movements, usually first thing in the morning to help to clear any puffiness that's built up over the night. It helps with lymphatic drainage. I love the way these are shaped because you can kind of really get into the jawline here. And I'm a night grinder, so I wake up usually with quite a bit of tension in my jaw and I just find that this is a really good way to relieve it. And then also just really working around the eyebrows, just again, you know, easing puffiness around the eyes. It's beautifully cooling, so you can use it under the eyes as well to help with bags and dark shadows. Anyway, check it out. I'll make sure that we pop a link 
um, to the features on Liz Our Wellbeing if you want to learn more. And again, if you want to have a look at the gua shells, we do have the Liz Loves discounts there as well. Now, talking about helping to reduce puffiness and having something cooling on the skin, something that is really, really easy to do, and best of all, it's free, is using ice cubes. Really simple. So you can either just take um, a single ice cube, see if I can get one out here, and just pop it in a tissue, just to wrap it in a tissue, just so it's easy to manoeuvre. And you can just sweep that around your eye. Very simple, very effective at helping to reduce dark shadows and puffiness. Again, just work it around the eyes like this. Or if you want to be a little bit more dramatic, you can get a flannel or a cloth and you can actually tip in quite a lot of ice cubes with a little bit of cold water maybe with it and just use this as a compress to apply wherever you like and in fact you could even have two flannels or fold it in half and just place it over your um, entire face and even down onto the neck area and that again helps to stimulate fresh blood supplies to the skin it just gives you that lovely temporary type feeling and that lovely glow and it's very very easy to do wherever you are uh, talking about easy things to do wherever you are something else that's a really easy one and again it's free is facial exercise so you know we do have muscles in our face in our neck in our jaw and it's really good to give them a workout just like we give our bodies a workout and very quickly i'll share one of my favorite ones with you here before i go is to help firm up this area you know a slack jawline saggy chin really simple you just put your bottom lip over your top so you're doing like a gurning face like that okay and when you do that you can really feel these muscles tighten and strengthen and start to work and that all helps improve skin tone so a few of those first thing in the morning set you up for the day along with some of the other tips what are your favorite tips for at-home treatments pop them in the comments do share i'd love to hear i'll see you next time Bye bye